In the meantime, well, go ahead and start without her. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. These girls have been fighting since they've been in diapers. Do they love one another? Absolutely. Are they stubborn? Of course. And they're very outspoken. They've all had their disagreements here and there. But this particular fight has gone on long enough and they need to get over it right now. It's been a while. Too so, long. Too long. Someone catch me up. Okay. I, I, me and Mommy really wanted the girls and Tamar Mar to talk because it seems like there's a lot of friction or animosity or something going on. It's not quite right. And Tamar thinks it's them and no one's talking about their issues of what they're really feeling. We're not communicating anymore. I know you told us okay. we need to do that. Yeah. We regressed. What happened? There's a whole lot of gray elephants that came upon. <laughs> the big white the whole, elephant? No, it's not talk? even white no more. Oh, the thing is gray. It's yeah. aged? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you think all the issues are centered on Tamar? What, I mean, is that the main focus? I think that there's a, a, a bridge that's, mm -hmm. that needs to be mended. I think everyone wants to have a better relationship with all of us sisters collectively, but I think in particular the relationship with Tamar and the other girls has been stressed. Not sure how do we knock that wall down, but I'm hoping with Dr. Sherry's help that we can do it. Um, I had a one-on-one -on -one with Tamara, and she left because she didn't want to hear my truth of how I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And by me having that one-on-one -on -one conversation mm -hmm. with Tamar, and by me swallowing my pride, because everybody in my mm -hmm. family knows how I am, it's hard for me to swallow my pride, and to hop on the plane, mm -hmm. to hand her the olive branch, and then she craps on it. That's how I felt. Tamar was angry, too, and disappointed, but Tamar seems to think that none of her sisters like her. She said, my sisters hate me, and I don't know what I did to them. So it's serious. It's really it's serious. serious. It's detrimental it's to our family at this point. Are we still dealing with baggage from the past? I don't know. Or is this something new? I will say for me, from doing the Braxton Family Values from season one, when we came into this whole situation, it was as a sistership and as a sisterhood. And when we talked about it from the very fruition of it, it was supposed to be a family unit. It was supposed to be a family project. Were you all asked to be a part of the other show? No, to at least make wasn't. appearances? She never asked. What she said was, I mean, this is the opportunity. If y'all want to do it, fine. If not, fine. And that's that must be very aggravating, must be very frustrating. It's also very real. It is very real. From your perspective. No, in realization. No, I have to I have to It's not perspective, I don't know. it's very real, Dr. Sherry. Okay. It's not I don't, perspective. I don't accept that. It's very real. Wait, let's say. Is it real or it is, is it is not? Real. It's real. Is it real? Is it real? You know what? Yes or no, mommy. But but I uh, I need okay. to say. Okay, but mommy's this. a mom. I need to, to say this now. I understand she's not upset though. Okay. No, mommy, it's not. It's a yes or no situation. I need to say this. But mommy, yes, yes, and no is no. Maybe to you. No, period. To you. I don't need you to tell me. I'm not asking you what you need, mommy. I'm not asking you what you need. I'm not asking you what you need. I'm asking you how you feel. But yes is yes, and no is no. I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed in Trina. She went blow to blow with my mom. Obviously, she has some issues, some unresolved issues. It's very hard for me to say yes or no. I am a mother, and I have two children as well. And I know how it is to not want to take sides. However, as a parent, you still have to acknowledge what's true and what's not. So sometimes it gets really, really frustrating because she chooses to remain neutral. Wait a minute, why are you staring at me like that, Trina? What's wrong? I think I have right to look at whomever I... Jeez, I'm just looking. Just looking. Okay. And you see, 
Katrina gets very upset with me because she feels that um, I'm always taking up for Tamar. You do, but that's not that's not the situation at hand. Okay. See how hostile sometimes they can. But let's go back and to it's the bad. Was that, was that, was that it's, hostile? Just now, it's, we, we can't really talk. You know, when Trina got a little spicy, I call it, with me, I felt she was very disrespected. I don't think I'm any more protective over Tamar than the others. I'm going to be there for all of them. That's just what I do. I think that there is just a lot of things we need to discuss as sisters, period. Would you all like mom to leave? Yes, I will. You Mom think they said, don't even like it. I have to. Okay. Because I, I think that they need to talk, you know, and be more open okay. and not worry about what I'm feeling. I think that it was the biggest mistake for Mommy to be in this session today. We can't really air out the things that we really need to comfortably air out if Mommy's sitting there. You know, because sometimes you have to say, F you, you make me sick, I can't stand you, in order to get over stuff. And we couldn't do that with Mommy sitting there. I'm sorry we couldn't. I did want to say just one thing. I remember how Trina felt when we did an intervention. Remember that, Dr. Mm -hmm. Sherry? And she felt attacked. Right, and I was fucking And it won't be communicated. No communication will happen. I, I don't want her to feel attacked because I want us to, be able to have talk. an ending. And so I, how do we do that? When she, tell, right. tell us how That's to talk when to she say. comes in. It's funny you mention that because that was my exact words. Everybody is holding a lot of stuff right now, and it needs to be heard. Okay. But then I also want her to share with us her feelings. And you've got to be willing to listen. And then we'll respond. Right. Because otherwise, if you just that. dump it, she's not going to hear it. And it's going to be, you know, again, we've had some time together before she came in. So, you know, she's going to be on guard. So, you know, exactly. You she's know, going to come be on very guard. guarded. She's going to be on guard. So expect that. People often think that my sister Tamar is a hard person to communicate with. There are truths about that, but in essence, she's just very sensitive. And I find that people who bark a lot are those people who do that to protect themselves.